So we are at the Epstein, I can't believe it, the countdown for Panto is on. And we've got the star of the show at Aladdin, Natasha Hamilton, Hello. looking beautiful. Thank you, just my casual Thursday afternoon yeah. attire. I've seen you out and about in town dressed like this on many occasions, to be fair. Yeah, it's my favourite look. <laughs> panto, we got, we got four weeks of amazing Panto at the Epstein. Yeah. Have you seen any Pantos here before? Oh yeah, I mean, I've seen the past two or three Pantos. Easter included mm. here at the Epstein. It's like one of my favourite things to, to see. Always take the kids, always a good laugh. These um, pantos, there's something about them that just makes them a little bit different, a little bit funnier, a little bit naughtier than oh, everyone else. Oh, they are so it. naughty. I mean, Michael, who is the dame, mm. he writes the script. He is, you know, it's 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 edgy. It's it's getting to that point when you're a bit like, ooh, but it goes over the kids' heads yeah. and, and we have a good giggle. Backstage, little little cry and laugh backstage. Oh yeah, I mean, and the audience as well. You know, you, you kind of got your hand and you, your head in your hand, going, "Oh, did they just do that?" But I mean, that's the joy of Panto. You've got something for the kids, mm. and then you've got a lot for the adults. It's as a well. great way as well to bring your kids and introduce them to theatre for the first time. They kind of experience. I remember as a kid myself going yeah. to the Empire or whatever, and it's, it's just magical, did. isn't it? I just got goosebumps then because honestly, that was our little thing. It was Christmas Eve Panto. The Empire, oh, yeah. or yeah, you know, go home, put on your new PJs, put your stocking on the fireplace, and you know, get ready. It was so magical, and you can't, you just can't forget that when you're on stage and you see all the kids yeah. and the little faces are like, oh my god, like to them, we're real, we're real characters. Mm. So it, re it is lovely to see all the families together, especially see the little ones' yeah. faces light up. Are we gonna get? any Atomic Kitten numbers. You've just sung Hole Again beautifully. Mm, will uh, I sing gonna... any Atomic Kitten songs? Uh, yeah, I yeah, think. Yeah, to. I mean, I'm sorry if you're not an Atomic Kitten fan. Probably not the panto for yeah, you. Yeah, maybe, maybe go to the Empire. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't go, no, don't, don't go the to any other theatre, which we will not mention any other names. Mm. You want to come to the Epstein. Uh, there will be a few in there. It, it's not going to be like Atomic Kitten mm. heavy. Definitely Do you not. ever, I was thinking this as you were singing it then, you must sing Hole Again so many times. Mm. Do you ever think, oh, I'm not this again? Or I do don't. you still love singing it? I mean, it's one of them songs that you can't get bored of because one, everyone's reaction to mm. it is amazing. It, it gives people that nostalgic feeling. People sing along to it. So you, you don't get bored. Um, I have forgotten the words once or twice. Oh God. <laughs> Which is really bad. I think sometimes you do something so many times, you just forget. You forget to kind It's of like get, yeah. second nature to sing it, and then when you think about it, you go... But the, the good thing with Hole again is everyone knows the words, so you just go... Yeah, <laughs> just do that. So we know in the panto, <laughs> she's got her words if she goes like that. Well, no, because I won't be singing on a handheld. Oh, I'll have yeah. one of them mics, so I'll, I'll, have to be, I'll be like... <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've done on our radio show in the summer, we put a little vote out there hmm. for one Liverpool act to play Lymph, the Liverpool International Music Festival, because they've all played it. Mm -hmm. Guess who come top? I don't know, who came top? Tom McKitten hey. come top. Why have you never played Lymph and, and would you ever play the festival? Um, I think because we kind of disbanded before the festival was around. Mm. Um, and I think just now, the whole nostalgic vibes come back in so we are starting to gig a lot more so yeah give us a call so let's let's get in touch with Lim and get yeah. atomic kitten headlining yeah. next year absolutely listen enjoy it opens on the 8th of december you've got a full month yeah. you're going to be knackered you're going to be done in i will be a little bit tired but you know the health kick has started yeah. let's bring it on and you'll be fine there's loads of pubs around here too so you're sorted. yeah i'll be able to pass the time yeah. nicely well listen good chatting to you uh, we'll see you on stage at the epstein lovely natasha hamilton thank, thank you thank you very much